Uh, in this video I want to show you a do-it-yourself guide to editing a plain uh, HTML website uh, in cPanel. Now cPanel is a common hosting setup that many websites have uh, and if you have a, a plain website, uh, one that's not made using WordPress, Joomla or some other advanced system, you can edit the pages on your website using the cPanel and I'll, I'll show you how. So once you've logged in go to the file manager and uh, go to the public HTML folder that would normally be where your website would reside and here you'll see the the pages on the website now we'll be editing the contact to page and that is over here this is what it looks like and now we go back and uh, simply click on the HTML editor and uh, it's okay just click edit and from here you can make changes it doesn't look exactly identical to what it looks like on the website but more or less and uh, you can make simple changes here you can make the text bold italics or underline you can change the style of the of the text you can um, change it to be a, a larger heading or a smaller heading even the font uh, you can also insert links so click an example and then we type in the link that we want uh, you can also insert a table or a picture now I'll show you how to in insert a picture. Now it is uh, looking for a picture from the server. So if I click browse server, it will take me to the folders on the website. And here I can look through looking for a picture. So there's a picture there, space a GIF. There's some pictures in here. There we are. And uh, we can choose to line it to the left or to the right and add a border around it and uh, even some extra space around it as well so it's not too cluttered. If you don't already have the picture on the server, you can use the, the upload button and simply click OK. So there's the picture. You can also drag and move the picture around or just simply click delete to remove. When you're happy, click Save and go to the website and look at the changes. So uh, that's, that's how the editor works uh, and uh, it's useful for making small changes to websites uh, as needed. 